This morning, more changes are set for the bustling Palmetto Park Road in Boca Raton. Now, the road stretches east to west, offering access to the beach and several businesses and gets you on the interstate as well. Tonight, you can weigh in on potential projects aimed to improve the road. All right, Stephanie Valderrama joining us in studio with the uh, public meeting that is on slate for the city tonight. Steph? Yes, good morning, Matt and Sam. So it's no secret that over the last few years, Boca Raton has grown exponentially as more people and businesses relocate to South Florida, and the roads really need Need to be able to keep up with the traffic, especially Palmetto Park Road, since it does run right through the heart of the city. Now, according to Zachary Beer, the city's municipal services director, city leaders are going to be gathering input. Now, specifically, this is for the section from City Hall near the intersection of Southwest 2nd Avenue to the bridge by Silver Palm Park and Wildfire wildflower park. Beer says people use this road for all sorts of reasons beyond just driving, whether it be walking the dog, cycling or just trying to reach the Brightline station. City leaders are going to record all the different types of traffic that use the road with the help of modern technology, but they also need the community's help. City recently passed uh, the complete streets policy and our goal for this is really to have an open mind about uh, the, the road corridor for all road users. So really focused on multimodal uh, elements and safety to really enhance the roadway corridor for pedestrians, cyclists, transit users, and all roadway users. Well, in my previous reporting, residents have expressed their concerns about road construction amid other construction that's already underway in the city of Boca Raton. So it'll be interesting to see if this issue comes up again during tonight's meeting, which is happening from 6 to 8 at the Downtown Public Library on Northwest 2nd Avenue. Now, if you can't make this meeting, they're also going to have a live web version to watch from anywhere. And also on that website, you can send city leaders your thoughts. Uh, that website was designed specifically for this project. I'm actually going to make it really easy for you to find that website in case you just missed it. You can go right now to my Facebook page where you'll find that link with more information. And if you missed any part of this story, you can also find it on our website, CBS12.com. Matt, Sam, back to you.